Hello. I'm doing this as a reminder to all new seed collectors. I've been watching a couple of the prepper videos and gardening videos and they're showing their collection of seeds and the plants that they are collecting the seeds from. It is very important that you take the time and learn about the pollination of the plants and special requirements for seed production to ensure a, a healthy seed stock for the long run. Uh, I just watched a video where a guy just had a couple spinach plants and you know collecting lettuce you know one or two plants same thing with basil and all of these others because the plants give so much seed per plant they think, oh, I'll collect from one or two and I'm good to go. The reason why it is very important to collect from many of your best specimens is to ensure viable, healthy seed. Especially with inbreeding plants, you don't have the genetic diversity. The flowers are what they call perfect. They're self-pollinating, so you're just getting that strain of genetics and in different weather conditions and disease that travels through if you just have one bell pepper that came from the same line uh, it doesn't ensure that you're gonna have a good crop so take the time learn about the plants uh, a note two, two that come off the top of my head Eggplant, minimum 8 to 10 plants. Good, your best specimens, not any old specimen. Known for a low germination rate, so have lots of seeds on hand. Corn, um, I don't even mess with corn too much anymore because of the reports coming in from the seed company saying it's increasingly hard to find uh, seeds that are not contaminated with the GMO. Even though corn is wind pollinated, it can pollinate for two miles, um, there's genetic diversity, you still need to collect from at the very least 200 plants to have a good seed stock. Uh, so order, order a book, do some research, don't assume just because one lettuce plant is spitting out a whole bunch of seeds that you are going to have a great seed stock. All right. Uh, as always, I highly recommend the book Seed to Seed by Suzanne Ashworth. You could get it online, Amazon, used very, very cheaply. And it is jam-packed with loads of a very important information. I'll do a video when I get back from my trip. I'm going to Florida uh, for the Uganda project. A uh, little meet and greet at Aura Sorensen Gallery in Delray on Monday night to promote the art and to promote the fundraiser. So I'll do some videos after I return. Take care and many blessings. Peace be with you.